Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Us giving all praises to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Real quick, I want to touch on this uh, post that you just seen. It says, Flame, uh, Throw Flame reveals the first ever flame throwing quadruped robot dog capable of shooting fire up to 10 meters. All right, and this is Esau who has mastered and perfected his blessing, which is a sword. Okay, and you bet your ass he's going to use this on Jake, man. All right, he's going to use this on Jake. He's going to tell you, he's going to show you, show you Jake's, you know, uh, his horns in these last days, man. As I believe El Apostle Har coined this year, the, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And we're going to see a lot of trouble, man, especially upon you so-called Negro, Spanish, Native Indians, first and foremost. J Esau can have one of these go into your hood and, and, and set everything on fire. All right, let's start off with Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right, and these devils know their time is short, so they're going to start showing out. They're going to really start uh, up in the ante. All right, it says, You can now buy a flamethrowing robot dog for under 10K. Okay, on a ten thousand dollars, you can buy you know a, a damn flame throwing robot dog, and you know these Edomites gonna have this man. You know, especially in the times that we coming into, these Edomites gonna have this man. You know, you know these 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 different paramilitary groups and um, you know these uh uh, uh what is it called? Oh, these m m militias and stuff. You know the government, but also you know your average you know J Joe Edomite who, who who got some money to spend. They 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 gonna have this and they are gonna use it to protect their, their their homes and their neighborhoods, and also to persecute you, Jakes, man, because Jake can't afford to buy no damn ten thousand uh, dollar you know flame throwing robot dog for the most part. So the they, this devil's about to come down with great wrath because he knows his time is short. All right, this man's no this man knows his time is short. So with that, the destroyer of worlds, he's gonna wild out. And you heard the beginning, it said the destroy of worlds. So like you, it said the destroy of worlds, which come from Alpheimer when he created those um, atom bombs, okay, which, you know, now has been um, uh, um, evolved into nukes, all right? Now you have this AI technology that they can put on, you know, robots and turn them into complete killing machines, you know? Um, you know, these, these movies like Terminator, you know... Um, and so on okay we can go on and on about these movies you know these things were telling you what was coming and we, when we speak about these things people think we're just talking about a movie no no we're telling you of the future of what's to come all right the very near future and and and, and really it's already here but they're about to start making a sore slaughter so let's grab a few more scriptures going into that starting off with um genesis chapter 27 and i'll get right to it but um, showing you how this is Esau's blessing. This power, you know, th these these weapons are Esau's blessing. All right. It says, um, going into how, how Jacob, you know, supplanted Esau out of the blessing. And then it said, um, Genesis chapter 27, verse 35. And he said, thy brother came with subtility and have taken away thy blessing. And he said, it is not he rightly named Jacob. For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, which, you know, you gave away the birthright. It says, and, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, hast thou not a reserved a blessing for me? Because Jacob and Esau were, 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 were uh, brothers. Okay. And these two nations were, you know, promised to rule the earth. Okay. In one time or another. Now Esau is ruling the earth now. And his rule is coming to an end. But in, in the midst of that. You know, our rule is being established and Esau is not going to like that. So he's going to try to do anything he can to stay in power. It says. Um, you know, now you have taken away my blessing. He's and he said, has thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, behold, I have made thee, I have made him Lord. It's like you behold, I have made him thy Lord. And all his brethren have I given to him for servants, meaning all, 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 all of you know, uh, uh, Jacob's, you know, brothers, you know, 
uh, these other nations are, are going to have to serve us, including Esau. All right, and that's what Esau hates, because right now we're serving him. But some coming time where they're going to serve us. It says, and um, Slakia, and all his brethren have I given for him to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? Because Esau wants a blessing, and he's going to get a half-assed blessing. You're going to see it says. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. He cried. All right, he was whining. It says, And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword thou shalt live and shalt serve thy brother. And it, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. All right. And that's and, that, and, and, and that's what happened. You know, Esau broke that yoke and he came into power and he's gotten everything that he has through violence by, by, by that sword. All right. So really, so really it was a half ass blessing because we got the true blessing. He, 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 he got dominion through violence. Every, everything Esau gets, he has to get it through violence. Okay. That's how, that's how he that's how he got America. That's how he get all these nations. That's how he, he get money and riches and gold and oil through violence. They go over there and make war. All right. So this man is going to he, he uh, another another one of his tools is deception. But when, when he can't deceive anymore, he's going to revert back to that blessing, which is a sword. And they've been perfecting that blessing. OK, it says and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And this has been the spirit and the mindset of these devils for a very long time. All right. So they're creating these weapons, not for, you know, entertainment purposes. They're creating them to, to ultimately destroy you, you, you Israelites, man. When all hell break loose out here, that they, they, they're going to seek to start killing niggas, bro. All right. That, that, that's the whole goal is, is to get rid. Let, let's get rid of these niggas. All right. Which is us. OK. <laughs> Un unfortunately. Let's go here. This is, um, and I'll get right to the point, but it says Ezekiel chapter 21, I'm reading the NLT, Ezekiel 21 verse 9, son of man, give thy people this message from the Lord, a sword, a sword is being sharpened and polished. And what happens when you sharpen and polish your sword, you're preparing it as being perfected for what to be used. And how is the sword used is used to kill. Okay. A sword is, is used to kill. And the sharper it is, the better it is at, you know, doing what, 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 what it was created for, you know, to divide and sever, you know, to, to destroy. All right. So it's just a sword. A sword is being sharpened and polished. And that's Esau. OK. He is being sharpened. OK. It says, um, is, uh, it is sharpened for terrible slaughter. You see? It is sharpened for terrible slaughter. Okay. This man is about to slaughter. He's about to come down with great wrath. He's about to start d dropping Jake like flies out here, man. And this is why the Lord sent us out here to prophesy, uh, 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 you know, about these things to warn our people. Because Jake in their own little world worrying about, you know, this, that, and a third. But you have no idea what's coming. And we and we can see into the future because the Lord has given us the eye salve to know what this man is about to do. Niggas talking about, oh, well, oh, not all white people. Oh, 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 oh Esau ain't the white man. Well, you about to find out who Esau is very soon. Okay? You about to find out who Esau is. If you, if you can't get it by now, guess what? You're you going you gonna, to you gonna get it the hard way. It says, it is sharpened for terrible slaughter and polished to flash like lightning. Now you will laugh. You think this a joke? You think this a game? Those far stronger than you have fallen beneath its power. You see? Yes, the sword is now being sharpened and polished. It is being prepared for the executioner. You see, so Esau is about to come through and execute and start executing people, man. All right, on a mass level. You know, you got two thirds of people here in America that, that are not going to make it. They're going to be destroyed. And majority of your niggas ain't going to see those missiles because you're going to be already laid up, str strung up in the streets. You know, riddled with bullet holes, bodies on fire. It's about to get very, very ugly out here. All right. It says. Son of man, cry out and, and wail, pound your thighs in anguish, 
for that sword will slaughter my people and their leaders. Everyone will die. You see? So they about to start killing Jake's like no tomorrow. And it's our job to come out here and warn you this. To, to, you know, uh, scripture says to, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We're probably trying to persuade you to repent, to get right, to seek your help by Shemel Shai before you meet the terror of the Lord. Before you find out how terrifying the Lord really is, man. Because because the Lord, the, the Lord is the one that's allowing us for all you wicked niggas. All right. All, 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 all you rebellious, you disrespectful, evil, wicked ass Jake's, man. So, you know, right now it's fun and games to come out here and play and, and talk shit and, you know, act like, you know, he man. But when Esau, you know, you know when the Lord put this man Esau up, he going to start slaying Jake's, bro. You know, all your gang banging niggas, your Tim Tim and Ray Ray's and, you know, them niggas ain't going to be able to save themselves, bro. They, 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 it's it's going to be on and popping. It says it will put them all to the test. To what chance do they have, says the sovereign Lord? Son of man, prophesy to them, to them, and clap your hands. We're telling you flat out. We're not going to sit here and sugarcoat it to you. We're telling to you flat out. Oh, y'all speak too rough. Oh, y'all speak preaching hate, nigga. we telling you the truth. And the truth hurts. It's about to get ugly out here. And these devils who you love so much are about to turn up on your ass, man. They about to turn up. They about to wild out. They, they, they about to go straight Mad Max, you know, buck wild on your ass, man. The Lord gonna put a, 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 a you know that 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 KKK spirit back on these Edomites. It says, then take the sword and brandish it twice, even three times, to symbolize the great massacre, the great massacre facing them on every side. So there's gonna be a great massacre here in the lands of of, of, of America, man. All right, on every side, no matter where you go, it's gonna be death and destruction. It says, let their hearts melt with terror. For the sword glitters at every gate. It flashes like lightning. It is polished for slaughter. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has to be feared, man. O sword slash to the right. Mm. That's the point. All right. Let me go here. Um. Let me go back. Let me see. Uh. Let me go back here real quick because I want to I want to read this. It says um, Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So Esau is that sword. All right. And this man, he's getting ready to, to make a sword slaughter. OK, he's, he's about to start tear. You know, uh, Matt, he's going to do a massacre upon you, you Israelites here in America. All right. This is why they're letting all these immigrants in here and they causing all this chaos and Allowing you niggas to go in here and steal out of these stores and stuff, cause, cause they're they gonna justify what they're about to. They, they want to use all that to justify what they're about to do. All right, they want to use all that to justify what they're about to do next. So we tell you to repent, to seek your help, Bashim Yahweh Shai, not because we, you know, we feel like we, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you may think, but because the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to come down with great wrath. All right, and in that you don't want to get caught up in it. All right. This is real quick one in the spirit, you know, it's a, you know, many other scriptures I wanted to add, but I want to keep it as simple as possible, as fast as possible, or, or like as short as possible, you know, and, and allow it to be as edifying as possible through the spirit of your by Shemel Shaman, because we about to see this, okay, we are, we are, we are about to experience great death and destruction on this side, like never before seen on the earth, all right, let me grab that real quick, I'll close out with that, um, Bear with me one second. Let's go to Jeremiah. You know, you know, when you really, you know, examine these things in the spirit, bro, we can see as clear as day. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 4. And these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. There's no peace coming. It's going to be all hell breaking loose out here. It says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Because what? Fear. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, which is the elect. All right, everybody else saying not, not so much, but the elect will be delivered. All right, and we hope to be a part of that number. All right, so let's play it back. So lucky, let's play, let's, let's play it again. And we'll close out. The destroyer of worlds. Now he's jumping. He's showing off that he's capable of it. He's jumping. You know?
Shalom.